Kiki. These are the Jamil Mukulu acolytes indoctrinated with radical Islamic teachings, trained to kill, and taught the discipline of surviving in harsh conditions. However, a recent military campaign by the DRC army has left the ADF in a fragile position after more than 500 were killed during fierce fighting. As relations between the Kampala and Kinshasa regimes continue to improve, the Chief of Defense Forces, General Katumba Wamala, was visited by his DRC counterpart, General Didia Atumba Longila, to visit former ADF strongholds. The journey to this jungle hideout is a treacherous 20-kilometer journey through a DC path, across meandering streams, forest cover, and hills. Amongst the camps visited were Canada, Kabila, and Kamango. It is believed that the ADF rebel leader Jamil Mukulu was staying at the heavily guarded Kamango camp. Next to his house was an escape tunnel. I want to send a message, especially those who have been many times uh, deceived by, uh, by or, or hoodwinked by some people, that they are bringing their children for employment. Uh, there is no employment where they have been brought. These children were being brought into this uh, jungle, which you see. So don't be deceived to send your children because uh, this is, they live a terrible life out here and they are really enslaved and indoctrinated. Motorcycle spare parts, used as raw materials for making improvised explosive devices, were found. Uh, okay. This feeds into the theory that the ADF has links to the terror organizations like Al-Shabaab and Al-Qaeda. As FADRC forces and the UPDF continue to share intelligence information on the whereabouts of the ADF rebels and their leaders, it is estimated that there are still hundreds of them still surviving within the thick forests of eastern DRC. Critics are saying that it's not yet over until these rebels are completely weeded out. Sudilbi Arhanga, NTV.